Here we're going to look at counting the number of atoms in a compound. And note that it's the atoms that we're looking at now and not the elements. In a previous video, we looked at counting the number of elements in a compound. For example, if you had a compound like CO2, to count the elements, you would look for the capital letters. So we've got a capital C for carbon and a capital O for oxygen, so we know that there are two elements in there. But now we want to count the number of atoms in a compound. Where there is a number below the element, it will tell you how many atoms of that element are in the compound. Now the only thing it's missing is if there's only one atom, they never write a number one in the compound name. It just makes everything far too complicated if you've got a number one there. So if there is no number next to the element, you should assume that there is one atom of that element in the compound. So if we were to draw CO2, just to help our understanding, it would be one atom of carbon bonding to two atoms of oxygen because you've got a number two there and no number here which means there's only one of them and that's how you get CO2 so rather than counting the elements this time this is all about counting the number of atoms so we need to count one two three atoms without drawing a little picture to help us we just look over here 2 plus 1 is 3 atoms so for another example if you have CaSO4 the number 4 tells us that there's 4 oxygens there's no number next to the S for sulfur and there's no number next to the CA. That tells us that there's one CA and one sulphur. So if we add them all together we've got four atoms of oxygen, one atom of sulphur, one atom of calcium and that gives us six atoms. There's only one, two, three different elements, calcium, sulphur and oxygen, but there are six atoms in that compound. One more example would be if you had NaOH for sodium hydroxide. Here there are no numbers in the compound which means there's one of each element. So that would be one atom of sodium, one atom of oxygen and one atom of hydrogen giving three atoms in total. So be very very careful in the question and see whether they are asking you to count the number of elements, so looking at the capital letters and going to your periodic table, or the number of atoms, so looking at the numbers within the compound. So now it's your turn to try a few. See if you can count the number of atoms in these compounds. Pause the video. So let's see how you got on. Lithium nitrate here. It's got some numbers in and other elements don't have a number next to them. So let's look at lithium first of all. No number here so we know that's got one atom of lithium. Nitrogen, no number here but we know that that's got one atom of nitrogen plus three atoms of oxygen. So three plus one plus one makes five atoms in that compound. Potassium hydroxide, no numbers next to potassium, so we've got one atom of potassium, no numbers next to oxygen, so we've only got one oxygen, and again only one hydrogen. So altogether in that compound are three atoms. 
Sodium carbonate. There are two atoms of sodium, one atom of carbon, and three atoms of oxygen. There are three plus one plus two, which makes six atoms in that compound. Beryllium oxide, no numbers, so one atom of beryllium, one atom of oxygen makes two atoms. Aluminium oxide, two atoms of aluminium, three atoms of oxygen, making five atoms altogether in the compound and a simple molecule O2. There are two atoms of oxygen, therefore two atoms in that element. Okay, remember O2 is not a compound because it's only made up of one type of atom, so it's an element. Very well done if you've got all of those right.